is the exact same smoothie, but without spinach. So I ran out of frozen spinach, as I had said, and I wanted to make one without um, regular spinach too. Just so you guys can see, look how thick this is. That is all thanks to the cauliflower rice and the watermelon. It's so, so yummy. It's like ice cream and we are about to have this for breakfast. And welcome back to my channel. So after my Trader Joe's grocery haul the other day, I had some questions about making meals with the foods that I bought. So I wanna show you one of the easiest meals that I make, smoothies. So I had bought some sliced peaches and then I also bought this granola. So I am going to make a really easy vegan smoothie that tastes delicious and that both you and your whole family will love. So let's get started. To make it easiest, I pull the blender off and put it in front of me. I, of course, love adding some nice fruit so it gives it a natural sweetness. And then I also add veggies. So I'm gonna start with the peaches and then add in some strawberries. Strawberries are a really great keto-friendly food. They're lower in sugar, um, but they give it more sustenance, um, so just more volume. And then they do have, again, a little bit of natural sweetness. So gonna do some of that. And then my secret weapon is cauliflower rice. So I absolutely love cauliflower rice because again, it gives more volumes to the smoothies. You're adding some additional nutrients from veggies, which a lot of people don't necessarily love. Like my husband hates cauliflower. Put this in the smoothie, he has absolutely no idea. He thinks it tastes delicious, it's super creamy. Of course, I don't tell him that I put cauliflower in because he probably wouldn't drink it. <laughs> Sometimes the cauliflower gets kind of hardened together, so you just need to smack it on the counter a bit. I'm saying you can put in about a fourth a cup to a third of a cup, depending on what you like. If you add too much, it does make it a bit on the icier side because it doesn't really have a flavor. Frozen bananas. You see how many bananas I buy? It's because I love to freeze them and put them in a smoothie. I use about a third of a banana. I don't love the taste of banana, but again, the texture is fantastic. My son's currently eating bananas. My three-year-old is feeding him. Super cute. And then this strawberry protein is so, so yummy. This is new zest. It's a very clean protein with no additional additives or preservatives. It's made with pea protein and then some beet juice root powder just for a little bit of pink color. Tastes fantastic. Most, most of the times, pea protein is kind of a turnoff because it has like a funky t aftertaste, funky smell. This stuff is good. I like their wild strawberry and then the coffee too. I put that in my morning coffee. And then I love soy milk in mine because it gives it a great creamy texture. If you don't want to use soy milk, you can also use oat milk, um, almond milk, whatever you prefer. Almond milk makes it a little bit icier. So just add in... A little bit, you can always add more. I like to make a smoothie bowl as opposed to a smoothie so I don't add as much liquid. Again, whatever you prefer. But let's blend it up and show you how good it is. I also forgot to add spinach. I absolutely love adding spinach or kale in mine. Usually I use frozen. This is basically out. I saved a tiny bit, so I'm gonna add in that and then some fresh spinach too. So I'll add some ice just to make up for it not being frozen. Sometimes I add ice to make it, again, just more quantity and then a little bit icier depending on how hot it is outside. Um, you don't have to add the ice, it's just, again, gives it a nice icier texture. So let's add this and then finish blending it up. Okay, so when I was putting the 
fruit away, I totally forgot I had frozen watermelon. Frozen watermelon just brings out the sweetness in the smoothie. You just need a tiny bit. It is so refreshing, so good. It's over 100 outside, so I'm going to add a little bit of frozen watermelon too just to make it a little bit sweeter because I'm in the mood for that. And then the smoothie is going to be done. <laughs> smoothie bowl is ready. As you can see, it's pretty green. I did put quite a bit of spinach in there, but now I am adding this from my Trader Joe's grocery haul. It is absolutely delicious. Just gives it a nice extra crunch texture and then healthy fats plus some protein and fiber too. Healthy fats. Healthy fats. Yeah, we all want healthy fats. It helps keep you full a little bit longer. If you just put the fruit and veggies in your smoothie, yeah. <laughs> Healthy, fit, fat moms. Healthy, fit, fat moms. You want to come here? Yeah. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> this is who you hear talking. <laughs> So you wanna add the healthy fats in your smoothie to keep you satiated and full longer because otherwise a smoothie is like a little better than drinking juice because there is the extra fiber and stuff in it. But, but it just, it doesn't stick with you super long. So by adding again, the extra fats from the nuts and the granola, it does keep you satiated. You wanna be careful in adding too much though because then it'll just, the amount of calories can be nuts when it comes to smoothies. So you just want to watch it. So I just put a little sprinkle on. Two thirds cup is 260 calories. So that is quite a bit when you add it into the extra calories from the smoothie. So again, just be aware if you're really trying to fill up, bulk up, if this is your only thing you're eating for the whole morning or even for lunchtime until dinner, then you definitely want to add more. So just keep that in mind. Do what works for you. Let's take a bite. Mm. So, so good. This has such a peanut buttery, delicious taste. The smoothie in itself is so yummy. That watermelon was a great touch. I love it. I'm gonna go enjoy my food and help get this little girl a treat because she was being so good with Cannon while I was filming this video. That's my daughter playing video games upstairs. Yeah, that happened. So thanks you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Let me know the next recipe and I will be sure to give it to you guys. Can you wave? No. <laughs> so here we are eating the smoothie. And even Cannon loves it. So when you make stuff with such clean ingredients, you can feed it to yourself, to your baby. I mean Cannon literally just turned a year old. So <laughs> Although he just ate so much oatmeal uh, and some banana, so I'm surprised that he's even hungry at all. Is that good, buddy? The kicking feet is how he tells me. <laughs>